Let's switch gears though because it is Monday, which means it's Media Monday. And today we're looking at Facebook. Facebook's 400 million users worldwide have made the company an object of fascination. Books have been written, a movie is now in the works about how CEO Mark Zuckerberg started the social networking powerhouse. But in the past few days, one blogger has raised some questions about the origins of the company and that story has gone viral. So it caught our attention. We brought him in studio. Nicholas Carlson is a senior editor at Business Insider. Now, I want to ask you, I've read your article, and there have been stories swirling for years now, right? The sure. idea is Mark Zuckerberg started this company in 2004 in his Harvard dorm room. Right. There have been lawsuits. There have been claims that perhaps he wasn't the first one to come up with this idea. What's new about this? What have you learned? The newest thing we've learned is we've, we've viewed uh, some instant messages between Mark and some of his friends and relatives, and in which he's talking about uh, a November 30 meeting he had with three Harvard seniors. Years, Cameron Winklevoss, Tyler Winklevoss, and Divya Narenda, who had this idea for a site called Harvard Connection. And he tells his friends, they asked me to do this thing. You know, I want to build my own site. Uh, it's called the Facebook. And what I'm going to do is sort of delay them while I build mine and then launch it sort of when they expect me to give their project back to them. Now, there have been books written about this, right? right? Like Accidental Billionaire most recently was right. out uh, by Ben Mesrick, who said and painted this picture pretty much, saying sure. that the idea had bubbled up among a right. group with the Winklevosses and others that you just named. But you said that you've gotten instant messages and emails. You've gotten actual proof here. That's right. Of what has been speculated. That's right. Well, to a certain degree. We've seen that Mark has told friends. So he's like, he says, hey, uh, they made a mistake. They asked me to do this. And so part of the question has always been, did he intentionally stall them while he was building what he viewed as a competing product? To and be out there first. Yeah, to exactly, like exactly. Did he intentionally sort of uh, screw them over a little bit while he, he used stronger language these instant messages right. I can't really get into that but he did sort of talk about you know pushing back their project leading them on stringing them along is actually a phrase one of his relatives is used. there anything illegal in that or is that just sort of you know not playing fair is, I, is what you're saying I mean I'm not a judge and I'm a lawyer so I don't know if he necessarily uh, actually uh, did fraud in the inducement or fraud, you know, sort of push the the legal boundaries here but they came to him with an idea mm -hmm. and he thought it was a good idea and he thought I'd like to build a site, and it's a competing site, and I'm going to work on mine while telling them I'm working on theirs. And you're saying that what was new about their idea was the social networking component of the site here. We do want to, because this is this is a hot topic. Yeah. It's a controversial one. So yeah. we do want to bring up Facebook's response here, um, and we'll bring it up sure. on screen for you. You did speak with them. Um, you did tell them what you had found, the copies of the emails and instant messages that you got. And they said simply, we're not going to debate the litigants and anonymous sources who are trying to rewrite the company's sure. history. So they're saying that they're not getting their hands dirty in, right. in combating this. They're not denying it either. That, <laughs> they're not denying That's it either. Right. Yeah. And I think what uh, sort of the tact here, the defender of Facebook would say, look, mm -hmm. Mark Zuckerberg was 19 years old when he did this. And we also found some other sort of misdeeds of his. He sort of hacked into a crimson uh, reporter's email account using information he got from Facebook. And that's sort of, and I think what the, their response has sort of been, hey, Mark was a 19-year-old. These are sophomoric acts of mm -hmm. a sophomore in Harvard. And that's certainly true. And if you want to look at the quality of his execution since then, it's been six years and he's built a company that's got 400 million users checking it every month. Right. Is this going to impact business in any way from the legal sources that you've you've talked to? Well, it's it's difficult to see. It seems like the uh, the, the the crowd that is behind this rival site they yeah. may sort of move forward with new legal action, and it'll be interesting to watch that. And we'll be watching it very closely. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for coming in. Sure. And um, an interesting site, interesting article on Business Insider by Nicholas Carlson. Thank you for coming in and, and highlighting this intrigue for us. My pleasure.